Hey everybody, today I'm gonna show you how KSI used some simple video editing tricks to make his reaction videos that bit more interesting. How is it going guys? And welcome to the Olufemi channel. We're a group of teachers that wanna shore up your video production skills in as little time as possible. Hey everybody, Dave here. Today I'm gonna go through some of KSI's videos and I'm gonna show you what his editor Mo Said does to make him a bit more interesting. He is entertaining by himself, but I think the video edits just make it that bit more interesting. They're very simple tricks. So I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna have these presets available. So stick around. Let's go into Premiere. I'll show you how to do the first one. Here with a ready day. So like okay, so we see two edits there. We see a zoom in and then we see a crop to black and white. So I'll show you how to do both of those. We're going to use some of my outtakes from a previous video about the M1 Pro. So I've got this clip right here. Another thing is MagSafe is back so we can charge by Max. I'm going to drop an adjustment layer. So I'm going to go to new item adjustment layer. Use the settings that it gives me. The reason I'm using adjustment layers is because with effects, I'll have to copy paste effects onto clips, but with adjustment layers, I can just move the adjustment layer where I want and that effect will be applied to all the clips underneath. So you can basically save these adjustment layers and just drag and drop the effect that you want. And I'll have all these available for you guys to download. Let's go to transform. We're gonna use the transform effect onto that adjustment layer. We're gonna keyframe scale and position. Move a few frames and then zoom in and adjust the framing. Another thing is max it. There you go. It's a very simple effect. It does what it needs to do. It keeps the engagement. If you wanted to make it a bit shorter and then add a sound effect, I'm just gonna choose a sound effect for my 360 transition pack which is available to purchase online. The 360 Kinetic Transition Sound Pack has got over 400 well-mixed samples and sound effects, all royalty-free for you to use in your YouTube videos, vlogs, promos, title sequences, animations. Just drag and drop into any editing software and level up your production. Find out more by clicking the link in the description. Another thing is, another thing is, short zoom straight to the point. For the next one, we're gonna add another adjustment layer. And for this adjustment layer, we're gonna zoom in. So I'm gonna have the transform tool again. Let's zoom in all the way. We don't need anything gradual, so this is just gonna be a simple jump cut. And then I'm gonna go to my saturation under the Lumetri color tab, and then take all of it out. And that gives me a black and white. So this is what the clip looks like. Another thing is MagSafe is back so we can charge via MagSafe or USB-C. The edits are just a bit more interesting, a bit more cartoony with these two effects. Let's go to the next one. The next one they do a lot is this shake kind of thing. So this is what it looks like. So Leona Lewis. <laughs> all right, so this is really simple to do as well. And all I'm gonna do again, I'm gonna add an adjustment layer and I need a shake, some kind of shake. So I'm gonna add the transform effect. I'm gonna keyframe scale, position, and rotation. I'm gonna get, zoom in a bit more. Let's go to 105. And then I'm gonna start keyframing the rotation scale just to make it a bit more shaky. We don't wanna make people too sick, so I'm just gonna space these out quite a bit. And this is what it looks like. At the moment, I'm using a CalDigit TS3 Plus dock, and I use one cable for everything. Just adds that cartoony shake, so really easy to do. And then this one's a funny one he does. Okay, well, let's uh, let's just not use any of So this is a simple clip in the middle, desaturate it so it'll be black and white. And then he has this audio effect. So I'll show you how to do that. But for this one, I'm just gonna apply everything onto the clip, take the saturation out. I'm gonna take the clip and scale it down. And then I'm gonna go to my effects and look for a reverb. I'm gonna go to the studio reverb go down to edit it and then we're going to start with a preset let's go with a great hall preset jack up the wet signal and then the room size and you've got something like this yeah great i'll take it so super simple effect but it does a trick <laughs> now this is another one they do quite a lot with all the screen recordings they have a bit of a shake and then obviously they've got him up top, so I'll show you how to do that. So this is a screen recording from the previous video. So we've got screen recording, and then we've got a clip of myself right here with a different camera. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the camera that's pointing at me above the screen recording, and then I'm gonna add a picture I've made in Photoshop really quick of this Reddit bubble. White where the green is is where you're gonna be. I'm gonna go into my ultra key effect and key out that green. Same thing as what you do with a green screen. So select the color that you want keying out. And then I'm gonna adjust this bubble to wherever I want it. Let's put it up here. And then I'm gonna go to the video 
and adjust that and frame that inside the bubble. Next, I'm gonna go to my opacity and use the ellipse mask and then do the best you can to put it within those borders. And then if you want, you can nest those two clips and move them around if you want, resize them. Then after that, we're gonna add another adjustment layer and we're gonna add that shake. Again, go to your transform effect, drop that onto the adjustment layer. And the adjustment layer is only gonna affect the clips underneath it. So underneath, we've got the screen recording. So that's the only one that's gonna be affected. Again, let's keyframe the position, scale, and rotation. We're just gonna mess around with the rotation. I'm gonna scale it in, go to the back to the first one, scale it in to about 105, because when you rotate, obviously you wanna get rid of those black borders. Like a simple rotation, it doesn't need much. I only used like a few keyframes. You can space those out a bit more. Make sure you don't make your audience too dizzy. It's just the shake is just enough to keep that interest going. Now the next thing they do is they add text quite a lot just to emphasize certain bits. So I'm gonna add text to this bit right here. I'm uploading yet another video. Okay, so I'm gonna add text to that and I'm gonna press Shift S. What that does is while I'm scrolling through the audio, I can hear the audio as well. And when I can hear the start of a word, I'm going to press the M key just to mark that. And then I'm going to use a Mogart that I made specifically for this video. And I'm going to line them up just so when he talks, the words appear. Really simple. I'm uploading yet another video. Okay, so you got a bit of a shake. You got them bubbling up. Typical Sideman KSI text kind of thing. Next thing I've seen and is really fun is this effect right here. And whenever I put my mind to something, I go 100%. Okay, so you can see his forehead and his brain expanding. So I'll show you how to do that. It's a really easy effect. It's built in Premiere. It's called Spherize. I'm going to take this clip of mine and add the Spherize effect. I'm going to expand the radius center it right around there and i'm gonna go ahead and keyframe these so i'm gonna start with this one move five frames expand it all the way where i want it and then i'm gonna move five frames and then make sure the center of the sphere is where i want it to be so every five frames should do the trick obviously if your subject's moving around a lot it'll take a bit more time but these effects are more for comedic value rather than precise effects to spend loads of time on and you get something like this the next effect, I couldn't find the exact clip of it, but I've seen him do it before. It's like a shaky red screen with a distorted meme sound effect. So I'll show you how to do that one. So I'm going to take this clip right here of KSI. Yo! I'm going to add an adjustment layer. And then go to my effects and look for the effect called tint. Drop that onto my adjustment layer. I'm going to map my white to pure red. Drop a transform tool as well. And this is what we're going to use to make the image shake. We're going to keyframe position, scale, rotation. And then I'm going to put my shutter angle up to 180 just so I get some blur in there. And for this one, we're going to move literally two frames and then scale in make minor adjustments just to make it super shaky and jittery. Yo! Let's redo. And on top of that, I'm going to add the meme distortion effect from my sound pack. Yo! Let's redo that. So that's the video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I hopefully learned something new today. Like this video and subscribe to the channel. We've got videos dropping every single week. If you got any questions, drop them in the comments. And if you'd like to presets, there's a link down in the description. Just click on that. It'll take you where you need to go. If you want to say hi, I mostly hang out on Instagram. Dave the Greco is a handle. Until next time. Peace.